If you're thinking about moving to New Braunfels, Texas, here's 10 facts you have to know about New Braunfels. How's it going, y'all? My name is Russell Monroe. I'm a local real estate agent right here in New Braunfels with Real Broker. Uh, this channel, Living in New Braunfels, is all about what it's like to live here, what it's like to move here, what you need to know. If you're thinking about buying, selling, investing in the New Braunfels area, I'd love to hear from you. Give me a call, shoot me an email, shoot me a text, visit my website. I get so many calls from folks moving in this area, and I love hearing from each and every one of you helping you realize your dreams of relocating to New Braunfels, Texas. I know you came for the facts, so let's dive right into it. Number one, New Braunfels just isn't for everyone. I think the important thing to understand is that New Braunfels isn't a big city or a small city with a population that just recently surpassed 100,000. New Braunfels doesn't really get to call itself a small town anymore. But we're also not a big metro like our cities to the north and the south, San Antonio and Austin, with populations over a million. So if you're looking for that big city, downtown vibe, New Braunfels just might not be the place for you. But if you want to live somewhere that feels like a small town, but has most of the amenities that big towns offer, then you're going to love it here just like I do. And if you love the great outdoors, that brings us to number two, outdoor activities. So if you're a lake or a river bum like me, you're going to absolutely love it here because most of our activities outside center around being in the water, whether that's uh, boating, fishing, tubing, kayaking, paddle boarding, swimming. The summers here are all about getting in the water. We also have two really awesome parks here that are both really different from each other, but also both really cool. Landa Park has a nice hiking trail, playgrounds, a train for the kiddos to ride, paddle boats, and the Landa Springs. Fisher Park has a nearly two mile long Cave jogging trail. It's got uh, fishing ponds, an outdoor discovery center for kids, playgrounds, and splash pads. Of course, there's some smaller parks also mixed in through, throughout the town, but those are the two major parks for Tim Raffles. Number three, infrastructure. So Texas is just really not known for its public transit in general, uh, and New Braunfels is no exception to that rule. There's very limited uh, bus service here in New Braunfels and we rely heavily on cars to get around. Very, very few areas of town are set up for uh, walking or biking, uh, but you're gonna find it's probably more walkable or bikeable than a lot of um, suburb type areas and towns, um, and certainly more so than like Houston or San Antonio. Number four, salaries. It's important, right? You wanna know what you're gonna be able to make, what you're gonna be able to earn around here. Well, we have a median salary here of about 71,000, which is gonna be higher than the national median of 65,000, and it's slightly lower than our neighbors to the north in Austin that are 76,000, but the cost of living here is gonna be exponentially cheaper than living in Austin. Number five, the weather. I don't wanna beat a dead horse here. If you've seen my other videos, you've probably heard me talk about the weather here, um, but anytime you're talking about Texas, you gotta bring it up, right? Uh, so it's definitely hot and humid here. This summer uh, in 2022 was a little bit hotter than most. We had ton of 100 plus degree days. I don't even, I didn't even keep count. I lost count at some point, uh, but it was hot this year. Uh, even on a regular year though, it's going to be pretty dang hot and humid from about May to September. The flip side of that is the winters here are relatively mild. You could probably count on one hand the amount of times we'll drop below freezing in a given, in a given winter. Um, so if you're looking to escape the snow and the bluster and all that stuff, uh, you know, or, or that or snow just doesn't do it for you, you prefer a mild winter, hey, we might be the town for you. Number six, the Braunfels is growing and it doesn't show any signs of slowing down. I just mentioned earlier, our population just passed over 100,000 here in the last couple of years. Well, just 12 years ago in 2010, our population was only 57,000. It's almost doubled in 10 years. So there is a ton of demand for people relocating here whether that be from other parts of Texas, across the country, or even internationally, people are moving here in droves. And with that, home prices, and with that, home prices have uh, gone up, and that's chipped away at the low cost of living that most people associate with living in Texas. It's also important to note, 
if you join any uh, local Facebook groups, there's a certain element of, town, of, of folks here that kind of look down their noses on transplants. But it's important to remember most of the people here were transplants at one point. Oh, half of them moved here in the last 10 years. Uh, and you're going to find that most local folks here are going to be very welcoming and friendly. Also, keep in mind that when a city grows as fast as New Braunfels has here recently, it, it can be a challenge for the city to keep up. You know, the city of New Braunfels has done an amazing job of trying to expand parks, roads, uh, the fire department, EMS, police department, and meet the demand. But it can be frustrating at times dealing with the constant expansion and construction we have here. Number seven, to expand on what we talked about in number six, we're going to talk a little bit about traffic. So with all that growth we just mentioned uh, comes traffic, especially when you consider the fact that we're smack dab in the middle of San Antonio and Austin on the Interstate 35 corridor. Traffic on the highway can get congested uh, northbound and southbound in the mornings and the evenings when people are off to work or coming home from work. Uh, but also traffic around town can get, can get pretty hectic during the tourist seasons in the summer uh, and as well as around some of that road construction we talked about. Number eight, stuff to do. So there really is so much to do within an hour drive or less from New Braunfels. So you've got Austin and San Antonio that are 45 minutes and 30 minutes respectively. Um, you can day trip into either one, uh, and they're both widely different, but equally fun in different ways. If water parks are your thing, we've got Schlitterbahn right here in town. It's one of, if not the best water park in the world. If you like amusement parks, San Antonio's got Fiesta Texas, Six Flags Fiesta Texas, and uh, SeaWorld or if craft breweries and restaurants are your idea of a good time, Austin's just a short drive up 35. Not to mention the rivers in town, Canyon Lake nearby, Jacob's Well in Wimberley nearby, the vineyards in the hill country right down the road, and the many state parks we've got close by as well, such as Colorado Bend State Park, Garner State Park, Guadalupe State Park, Blanco State Park, and Palmetto State Park, all great places to go, hike, camp, fish, you name it. And on top of that, we're only a two and a half hour drive from the beaches in Port Aransas and Corpus Christi. So if you like beaches, you can day trip there too. Number nine. So this one uh, kind of might come as a surprise to some of you, especially given that we're a German town and we do love our beer here, but alcohol sales, uh, depending on where you come from, you may or may not be used to some restrictive alcohol sales, but here in Texas, you cannot buy liquor on Sundays or any form of alcohol before noon on Sundays. So there are a few exceptions, like getting served at a restaurant with your brunch. And on top of that, the bars here do close down at midnight every night except for Saturday when they stay open until 1. But you know what mom always said? Nothing good ever happens after midnight. But if the bars open until 2 a.m. is a must-have for you and that's your scene, San Marcos is just right up the road. Bars there are open until 2. They got a great bar district downtown, and we'd be happy to help you move there as well. And Finally, number 10, the secret is out. The secret is out about what an amazing town we've got here, and it's making it more and more challenging to relocate here. That's why it's so important to have someone here to be your eyes, ears, and boots on the ground and guide you through the process of relocating here. We service the entire area, from San Antonio up to Austin. So the final thing you need to know is if you're planning a move anywhere between San Antonio and Austin, give us a call. Shoot us a text or email. Days, nights, weekends, we got you back when relocating to New Braunfels, Texas. Once again, my name is Russell Monroe with Real Broker. I appreciate you watching the video. Please subscribe if you want to know more about li living in New Braunfels, Texas. Y'all have a good one.